Alrighty guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to replace your pickup tube inside your fuel tank on your snowmobile. This happens to be a 1980TX Polaris uh, 340. I'm going to be showing you how to install. I actually have to put a whole new barbed fitting in my fuel tank. Most of you will not have to do that because you will already have one. But you will have to unscrew it to access the other side of the barb to put your new fuel line on. Also guys, I recommend getting one of these. This is one of the uh, inline, well here it is, it's a quarter inch in tank fuel pickup with filter and check valve. The check valve just keeps the fuel in the line, doesn't let it drain back in the tank. So it um, helps with easy starting, you know, you don't have to pull it over a bunch of times to draw out fuel. You always have fuel in the line, so that's really good to have. They're like eight bucks. Um, there's like a part number you guys can see on there. This came from eBay for like eight bucks. I don't have one in my tank right now, so I had to order this. This is actually an Articat part, but it's the same threading, I believe, and I'll put some good goop. I'm probably going to put Yamabon crankcase sealer around the threads because that's fuel and oil compliant. Uh, I won't eat through it. And it's also tapered, so it should seal up very nice. But we're going to get right into it. I'll get some fuel line. I have quarter inch clear fuel line I also bought off eBay. It was like a dollar a foot, so 10 feet was 10 bucks. And I'll get all my supplies and I will turn the camera back on when I'm ready to start installing that into the fuel tank. Fuel filter check valve through there. So I'm going to have to put some line in, grab it from the top of the tank, hook my, hook my filter on, and then pull some of the line out so I have the amount, correct amount I want. And then I will cut it off, put this on, thread it in, and then I'll be good to go. So hopefully it will work. This tank has been completely drained. Um, I would highly recommend if your snowmobile has been sitting and you're doing this um, because if it's been sitting a while that thing is probably cracked off in the tank. What happens is that inline um, pickup tube gets super brittle and breaks off so I would recommend flushing out your tank before you even start putting a new line in if yours has been sitting for a while. Out of the machine, um, this is probably not going to be necessary for all of you guys but in my case I looked inside of the flashlight and I seen the old pickup tube was all busted in pieces laying inside the bottom of the tank. And I also seen a bunch of other nasty stuff, so I pulled the tank out real quick, and I put some fresh like, gas in it, and I swashed it around. And I also took my, I call these Chinese fingers, you know, the little grabby things. And I pulled the old big pieces of the fuel line out, and then I shook it around and drained all the other nasty stuff out. And then I put my, see, I have my new chunk of fuel line ran through right now. I'm going to connect my inline fuel filter and I'm probably going to put a zip tie just real quick over that connection just to make sure it doesn't come on. Put a zip tie on there or tie wrap whatever you want to call them. I call them zip ties. Make sure I'm getting that shot. Just a little bit closer. There you go. Basically I'll just put a zip tie over the end of it. Make sure it's securely on there. I'll just cinch it up nice and tight. And that's not going to go anywhere. So let me just get a side cutters. We'll cut that off and then that'll be it. So I got my little side cutters here. Just snip off the end of that zip tie. Nice and secure. And then I'll just drop it in the tank. Take my flashlight and then I'll kind of shine down in there, see where it's laying. Maybe I'll take my uh, grabber tool and I'll just move it around a little bit. Just kind of shine in there. Just to see. Because the line is pretty uh, bendy and everything, it's not stiff, so it should hopefully kind of lay in the bottom. As long as it's in the bottom of the tank somewhere, is all that really matters. Um, I'll probably give it just a little bit more. And then you can see on the outlet edge, I'll leave just a little bit extra here, and then I'll connect my adapter with the barb fittings thread it into there with some sealer and then I'll attach obviously the other piece of fuel line we will go to my fuel pump. I might throw 
a fuel filter in that line or I'll put an inline shut off um, as well just because it's nice to shut the gas off and then you can run your snowmobile dry um, and also it's always just nice to have an inline shut off so I might do that as well but yeah I'm gonna get that fitting and we'll try to put that on next actually I don't need to put anything else on it that's a nice tight seal I'm gonna get some Yama bond quick and I'll put it on those threads and then we can seal it up and thread it in there just put a little bit of this stuff on the threads you guys could probably use some like Teflon tape um, any kind of thread sealer I think Loctite makes this thread sealer as well um, Permatex stuff like that anything will really work It'd be nice if it was gas compatible just in case you know so the gas doesn't eat through it but I'm just gonna use Yama Bond just something on there and then I can just begin to, to thread it in there and then I'll get a wrench I'll tighten it up you don't have to go so tight because it's a, it's a tapered fitting so just get it nice and snug it's a plastic tank obviously you don't want to strip out the plastic threads so once we get that tight that's basically it for putting a pickup inline uh, filter in your tank the rest of it you can just connect back to your fuel pump assembly and carburetor it wasn't too bad just kind of can't really stress it enough just make sure your tank is clean why go through all the work of putting it in there if you just have a dirty tank with a bunch of nasty stuff in it you know go the extra mile clean it out a little bit get most of that big stuff out if there's a little bit of stuff in there you know your filter's going to obviously pick that up it's not going to get in your engine and like i said always a good idea to put an extra filter in line before your fuel pump possibly an inline shut off as well they're dirt cheap go on ebay buy 10 of them for five bucks that's what i did at least but yeah i'm going to tighten that up make sure you guys if you enjoyed this video and this was helpful make sure you leave a like subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers comment down below if you have any questions regarding putting one of these in um, it's pretty universal for all different makes and models uh, just basically the old carbureted stuff um, some are different threading and stuff just make sure you guys are researching when you if you have to replace this fitting right there and like I said mo most of them you might be able to fit that check valve through there first but like like I had to do I had to put the line in pull it up through the top connect it put it back in the tank and then pull it through and do it that way so either way will work just make sure you guys kind of follow that procedure and you should be good to go so that's going to be it for the video we'll see you in the next one